For years, Football Manager has tried to predict the future. Sometimes I've got it perfectly spot on, and other times I've got it absolutely horrible wrong. Let's try and find out what the next five years are for your club according to Football Manager. Arsenal fans, you're up first, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. It doesn't make for the best viewing. You've managed to add one Europa League in the last five years. Just one. And you've only managed Champions League football once as well. Not the, not the best, not what you guys wanted. However, it's taken you five years. You finally won the extra Europa League in 2026. So you just won it. Bravo to the, to that. Let's just have a little overview of your squad and how does it look. Okay, so you've got Ramsdale still at the club. You've got Leno who's still at the club. He's still he's going to be leaving though. He's going to be joining Spartak Moscow. Bellerin's at the club. Gabriel's at the club. Tunzabi's at the club. You've got Mike Lenoir still at the, club, at the club. Saka's still at the club. Tierney's still at the club. You've signed Ruben Neves and Kovacic. Uh, you've got Reese Nelson at the club, Odengaard's still at the club, Marco Asensio's joined you, Andrea Bellotti's joined you, Maxi Gomez has joined you, um, Thomas Partey is still at the club, but he's out on loan, he's joining Olympic Marseille on a, free, on a permanent deal. That squad doesn't look the best, probably you understand why you've been finishing around the 6th, uh, 7th mark in the Premier League. Let's just have a little look at your transfer history. And let's roll it back. So you sh you'll be able to see underneath my head what you've spent and what you've brought in. Uh, you've sold £8 million worth of talent here. Uh, you've got Saliba, who's going off to Marseille. Uh, signing Partey as well. Um, nice uh, picking up uh, Saliba. Um that was obviously the most recent season. Feel free at any point to uh, pause it and have a little look. Um, I haven't copped something that I'm quite interested in. I want to see what's been going on here. Emilio Martinez. Oh, no. It's not the goalkeeper. I thought it might have been the goalkeeper. Um, I thought, I thought you were gonna, you've signed him and sold him. Oh, you even had Sebastian Coates in your uh, squad. Uh, going through again. Feel free to stop it at any point. You got rid of Pedri. Uh, he was signed by West Ham United of all teams. Uh, Eddie Nikitita. Um, again, you're spending a lot more money than you're bringing in. Not very good business, I might add as well. 147 million. Wow. Wow. Son Belotti on a free now, that's a good sign, especially because he's still at the club five years later. Um, again, feel free to stop it. You didn't really make any massive outgoings that season. I'm guessing the likes of Aubameyang and whatnot must have retired or uh, left on a free of some sort and just didn't sign for anybody. Right, so that is your transfers. Let's have a little look at your managers. So you kept Mikel Arteta until... The 7th of February 2023, Per Saka took over for 27 days as your caretaker. And for the last three years and 106 days, you have had Zinedine Zidane as your man in charge. Arsenal fans, let me know if that is something you want at your club. Would you like Zinedine Zidane? Personally for me, he's a very good cup manager. Whether he'd do it in the Premier League as a league manager, I would beg to differ. Um, that's the important bit, having a look. Um, let's just have a little look at your best 11 overall. Uh, just underneath my head, you've got um, Belotti is your main striker. Damsgaard, Malson is your wide men. Partey, Odegaard, Ruben Neves. Uh, Saka at left back. Gabriel, Tierney at centre-back, and Bellerin, and then Ramsdale. Um, obviously, that's overall, and this is how you've been for the last couple of seasons. Season This season, Maxi Gomez has got your top striker spot. Maxi Gomez had it the year before, Belotti had it before that, and Belotti had it again. And then it was, was Aubameyang, who I'm going to have a little look at, and he is... 
Oh, he did leave Arsenal in 2023. So Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang left in 23, and he joined Anderlecht, and he has since retired and become a coach who's looking for a job. Uh, so not really too bad. Let's have a little look at Emil Smith Rowe. You've lost him to the tune. Okay, so Arsenal fans, that's all we've got time for on this episode. I am going to release the save file. So if you do fancy having a go at your club at the end, by all means, check it out. I am only going to release it as soon as all the Premier League clubs have been addressed. And... If you've enjoyed it, check out tomorrow's episode where we'll be having a look at Aston Villa. See you tomorrow.